Hello and welcome everyone, it's Martin here at Crypto Games. We have a number of interesting developments to discuss today, so let's dive straight. Ethereum balances on exchanges see a historic drop, which lowers the risk of a major sell-off according to data from Sentiment. This is significant because it means that when people withdraw the money away from exchanges, they are not anticipating to enter into transactions anytime soon. And typically we have the reverse money moving to exchanges when people are about to sell. So this is definitely suggesting that the current prices in Ethereum are sustainable and they can even trigger a potential rally. In addition to that, JP Morgan analysts report that the staking industry, which Ethereum 2 is developing, is offering very attractive investments in this near zero rate environment, suggesting that these would be attractive for retail and institutional investors alike. In addition to that, Considering the recent drop in the Bitcoin active addresses, currently Ethereum has, Ethereum has overtaken Bitcoin by the number of active addresses with the network hosting roughly 200,000 more active wallets than Bitcoin as of July. In addition to that, what's interesting to observe, which is proving more of a bullish case for Bitcoin, is that the use of green energy for Bitcoin mining increased 52.2% in 2021, according to a report from the Bitcoin Mining Council, which of course is very good news because large companies such as Tesla may embrace Bitcoin once again if it becomes more environmentally sustainable. And finally, a new game is going to be distributed million, millions of Dogecoins to all the people who participate in it. Basically, it's an augmented reality mobile game titled Million Dodge Disco, which is very similar to Pokemon Go, and it's going to reward its users with Dogecoin. So let's move to the technical charts and see how we can trade some of these insights. Beginning with Bitcoin versus Tether, we are currently retesting the support of 32,800. As long as we maintain that, good opportunity is to buy Bitcoin with targets 33,400 and 34,400. Conversely, if we break below the 32,800 support, we could see more declines to 32,400 and 31,300. Now let's take a look at Ethereum. 2040 is the critical pivot point for Ethereum. You can see that at the time of filming, it comes with a sell signal on the strong game platform. The first target on the short side is 1975 and then lower down to 1890. However, if we break above 2040, we could see we could see some increases on the upside with targets for long positions 2140 and 2235. And now we are moving to Dogecoin. Dogecoin has fairly robust support at the 0.24 mark, which gives us good opportunities to initiate long positions with target 0.255 and 0.27. Conversely, however, if we break below 0.24, we could see more declines, which could take us down to 0.23 and 0.22 on the short side. Now we're moving to Bitcoin Cash. At the time of filming, Bitcoin Cash also comes with a sales signal on the Storm Game platform. Ideally, I want a break below 480 to initiate short positions with the initial target at 470 and then 450. However, if we maintain 480 support, we could be seeing more rally higher up with targets 500 and 513. If you want to be a bit more conservative, you can even take profit at 490. And finally, we're moving to Chainlink. Chainlink also comes with a sell signal at the time of filming below 17.5, which is critical level for Chainlink, selling Chainlink with targets 16.8 and 16.15. However, if we break above 17.5, you could buy Chainlink with targets 18.5 and 19.5. Thanks for joining me today. Keep learning with the video education section and the Crypto Games Market Insight subsection. And remember to join the Crypto Signals Made Easy channel for lots of insightful articles and trading ideas. Thanks for joining me today. Trade wisely and I'll see you soon. Bye-bye.